Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, your main man, Vasily Machenko, he recently did an interview on the Top Ranked Boxing YouTube channel with the lovely and equally talented Christina Poncher. And basically, he spoke on TFM Lopez, the fight, you know, the coronavirus, and how it's got in the way of the fight, and just what he's been up to. So, let's get into what he said. Here we go. He said, I quote, the most interesting, the most interesting thing for me will be to look into the eyes, um, and we'll be able to look into his eyes and his father's eyes and see their re reaction after the fight. He then went on by talking about the coronavirus and how it's got in the way of the fight by saying, I quote, of course I was a bit disappointed, but, er but everything that's happening with the self-quarantines is happening for the better. The most important thing is for all people on this planet to get back and get healthy and everything will go back to normal. He then went on by talking about T.F. and Lopez saying, I quote, I really think he is a good boxer. He's a top fighter, he's young, he's hungry, he has big power, and I want this fight because he's a world champion and he, and he holds my belt, which is the IBF title. Um, he then went on talking about Lopez's prediction where Lopez said that uh, he's gonna bully, bully Vasily Lomachenko because he's a bigger guy. He said, I quote, nobody knows, it's very unpredictable, nobody can predict what is going to happen, how it's going to happen. People are talking about which round they're going to knock somebody out and stop somebody. I am getting very, very interested. I want to see the fight. I am getting interested in that. Um, then, then he went on by talking about himself and what he's been up to, saying, I quote, you have to be active all the time. You have to be training a lot in the downtime between fights. Right now, I'm relaxing more. I will need to spend more time training. I will need to spar more and do more work. So there you have it. You're a main man, one of the best power pound fighters in the world, one of the greatest amateurs of all time, one, you know, an excellent world champion, Vasily Machenko. He's out here sounding like freaking Rick Ross. Huh, boss. Listen, for those of you who don't listen to rap music, you know, for the, for, for the younger crowd out there that's watching this video that does listen to rap music, do you guys remember that, that, that song? Rick Ross was on, that, was on a hit rap song with Meek Mill called I'm a Boss. And he's got, he's, he's got a line in the song where, where, where he says this. He says, Huh, I pray to God let my killer in his eyes, huh? <laughs> I pray to God let my killer in his eyes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Lomachenko sounds like right now, talking about, yeah, I can't wait to look into his eyes after the fight. Because, listen, he's really, obviously he's very confident in his abilities. Obviously he's very confident in, you know, the fighter he is. And you know what he should be. He spent a lot of time in the amateurs. He won 396-1. and won. He became one of, the fa the, one of the fastest fighters to win a world title in history. You know, the guy's ex displayed great skills at every level of boxing. So he should feel that way. Um... You know, it's stylistically, it's a great fight. You know, we got the punching power and timing and, 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 and I think the confidence of Tiffany Lopez against the, the, the loads of experience. I mean, the, 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 the gap in experience between these two is, is absolutely insane. But then you could say that for almost any fighter Lomachenko's fought, you know, with the exception of maybe Luke Campbell. But even Luke Campbell, I mean, he, Luke Campbell didn't have no 400 amateur fights. Or, at least I don't think he did. So, with that being said... Um, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm, I'm, I really hope that this this is this is a fight that can happen, because uh, another article posted on boxing scene that was talking about Tiffany Lopez moving up, moving up to 140 after the Lomachenko fight. But my my biggest worry, my biggest concern with this coronavirus, we don't know how it's gonna how long it's gonna last, and we know Tiffany Lopez has been at that weight class for what, fuck five or his whole boxing career, his whole since, 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 whenever he turned pro. Since he turned pro, he's been at one. He's been at 135, and this body has been screaming to him to move his ass up to 140. So, while it sounds funny to say, I mean, it this coronavirus might actually force both these fighters to go in, in, in two opposite directions because Lopez' body might not be able, to be able to make the weight by the time the coronavirus is done with and, and things are back to normal. And then Lomachenko, he want he, he's been talking about going to 130 for the longest time. So. You know, hopefully that that's not the case because I want to see this fight. I want to see if um, Lopez is as good as I think he is, and I want to see if, if if Lomachenko can beat somebody as young, as skillful, as um, confident as this young fighter and Tiffany Lopez, who I think is a special fighter, and I've always thought that I've been singing his praise for quite some time. And one thing I I took away from the the, the interview that when I, when I had a chance to watch it and and just now uh, reading the the quotes on the screen is that. Lomachenko says that, that, that because of Lopez's predictions, that the fight is becoming very, very, very interesting to me. So when I hear that, the way it registers in my mind is I'm very, very focused about, about, about my training for this fight. Like I, I feel like we're going to get 
the best Vasily Lomachenko possible. I feel like we're going to get the most focused, best Lomachenko possible in terms of preparation, in terms of his training, in terms of his mental approach to the fight. I don't think we're going to get a better Lomachenko than the one we're going to get in this fight because he knows that he doesn't even want to deal with the reality of losing to a young, loudmouth fighter like T from Lopez. He doesn't want that. He wants to be able to shut this kid up and, 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 and make him accountable for every word he said, like he said he was going to do in the past. So look, obviously, my stance is staying the same. I still think Tifi Lopez is going to stop him with a straight right hand. Um, but it's a great fight. And it's a fight that boxing needs. Um, it's, a, it's, a fight, it's a fight that America needs. Um, and I really think, I know there was a, a big grab about Lomachenko wanting to fight in California, but I, I really think it should, ha it should happen in New York. Um, because yes, even though Tifi Lopez is technically, he was born in New York, I wouldn't say he's from there. He's from South Florida. He's from Pembroke Pines, Florida, which is part of South Florida. So freaking Pember Pines, Florida. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mention that every video I talk about Tifi Lopez because I'm sick of, I'm sick of about him calling himself El Brooklyn when he spent like two minutes in Brooklyn his whole life. And I'm exaggerating. I know he spent more than two minutes in Brooklyn, but I'm saying he, he grew up here. He, he everything he learned about boxing, the majority of what he learned about boxing was in the South Florida boxing gym. So it, it pisses me off to hear himself call himself El Brooklyn. But I digress. That's a, that, that's a, that's a video for another day. Um. What was I even talking about? I lost, I lost my train of thought. What I'm saying is he doesn't want to have to deal with this kid saying that he beat him, you know? So I think we're, we're going to get the best Lomachenko possible. We're going to see Lomachenko hitting the angles and all that stuff. And, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited as a, as a boxing fan and as somebody who would want to see Tifi Lopez win this fight. I'm very intrigued by how he handles the big fight, you know? And I, and I think it should be in New York because um, while Tia might be from New York, you know, there's... A ton of Ukrainians in New York. I, I don't think, like, for, my, for, for, for people that, that aren't from America, like, for my non-American viewers who have never been to New York City, y'all don't understand how many Ukrainians live in New York. You don't understand how many Ukrainian flags will be flying in that place when Lomachenko fights at the Garden against Lopez. I mean, yeah, TV was going to sell a lot of tickets. He's going to move a lot of numbers, and he should maybe have... He should have more fans in the stadium for him. But make no mistakes about it. Lomachenko's contingent of fans is going to be loud, they're going to be visible, and they're going to be there. So I, I think it's just, it makes so much sense to have it at the Garden in New York City because of the fact that both fighters have such fan bases. I, I, I actually think it would be a massive disservice to this fight and how exciting it could be in terms of the atmosphere and the energy if it's not at the Garden. Yeah, there's nowhere else but the Garden that this fight should be in. Um, so that, that's just my personal opinion, but... I'm looking forward to it. Just hopefully it happens. And, uh, you know, best of luck to both competitors. But best of luck to Lomachenko. Best of luck to Tiafimo Lopez. Two exceptionally talented fighters. Uh, unfortunately, some, unfortunately, someone's going to have to lose on the night. We'll see, we'll see what happens, when it happens. But uh, l let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Lomachenko is going to make Tiafimo Lopez accountable for every word he said and all of the trash talk? And is he going to fold him up like a blue steel chair? Or will my prediction come true? Will Tiffany Lopez rise to the occasion again under the bright lights and fold up Lopasi Lomachenko? Let me know in the comments down below. Lomachenko's out here sounding like Rick Ross and that Meek Mill song. I pray that God let my killer in his eyes. Huh? No love, cry when only babies die. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a great day. Let me know what you in the comments down below. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniels. Until next time. Take your eyes.